Hey Cryptocurrency Market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a GX chain wallet. And the first step here is to find the correct domain name. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to go to Google here and I'm going to go straight to coinmarketcap.com. And in the search here on the right, I'm going to type in GX chain and it auto populates here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and it takes me straight to this cryptocurrency and it gives me more data about it. So right here, it lists their website. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is the website for GX chain. As you can see on the top, it says gxs.gxb.io. That's their website. And if you type it in yourself, just make sure you don't misspell it and verify it's connected to an HTTPS website and verify it's secure by checking to see if it has a green padlock or not. And it does, so this website is secure. And the second way to find their website is to go on their Twitter profile. So I'll show you how I go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to CoinMarketCap here and scroll down under GX Chain. And I'm going to click Social here. This is the tab. I'm going to click this tab Social next to Charts and Markets. And I'm going to scroll down again. And now it shows me their tweets and their Twitter profile. So I'll go ahead and click this and it takes me to their Twitter. Take notice of how many followers they have. They have a little bit over 10,000 followers and the link that they promote in their description is the same website, gxs.gxb.io, which takes us to this website again. So this is the official website for this cryptocurrency. I'll go ahead and exit out of this along with their Twitter and I no longer need CoinMarketCap anymore. So this leads us to step number two, which is to choose the correct wallet. I'll show you how to do that. On this website here, you're going to go straight to download on the top next to developer and team and click that. And under the download section right here, what we're going to do is click wallet. And as you can see, they have all the options for all the different computers, Windows, Mac, Linux, and it even works for Android and iOS. Plus, they even have an online wallet right here. Before we download anything, I do want to let you know that this GX Chain wallet is the main wallet developed and maintained by the GX Chain core development team. So let's move on to step number three which is to download the wallet. At this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you. For me, I'll be choosing the Mac OS version right here. But if you're using a Windows or Linux, go ahead and choose that option and continue following along with me in the video. So go ahead and choose the download. If you look at the bottom left side of my screen now, it says that it's downloading and it's going to take about a minute to do. So I'll go ahead and wait for that. Feel free to pause the video and recontinue the video once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great. So it officially downloaded now. So we're going to move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. All you have to do is click this download on the bottom left. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and it's starting to open here and now it's asking me to drag this app into my applications folder and what I'm gonna do now is try opening it by double clicking on it and it's saying here it can't be open because it's from an unidentifiable developer so the workaround is clicking OK we're gonna exit out of this and the proper way to open this wallet is to go to your finder, go to your applications, and then click GXB right here. 
what you're going to want to do is right click and then click open. And it's saying the same message, are you sure you want to open it? But now it gives us the option to click open. So go do that. So great, here's the wallet. And it looks like it's in Chinese, so I'm going to click up here where the Chinese flag is. And I'm going to convert it to English. So great, now it's in English now. So perfect. This is what the GXS wallet looks like. And there's a big blue button here that says create an account. I'm going to go ahead and do that. At this point in the video, here's a pro tip as far as creating wallets. Here it's asking us to create a name and choose a password. Go ahead and choose a name. However, for the password, you want to go ahead and get your password from the password manager. On our team, we use keypass.info, and that's a free and open source password manager that you could use. And what you're going to want to do is get your password from there because it auto generates a very strong password for you. And all you would have to do is copy and paste that into here. So go ahead and do that if you have not already. And once you do, copy and paste your new password into here. And you're going to go ahead and click create account. So it says create a backup. Your wallet is only stored in your browser. So it is crucial that you create a backup that will enable you to recover your wallet if the data in your browser is lost. It's saying create backup now. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's giving me something to download. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it's giving me a place to save it. I'll save it in my downloads here. And then click save. And what I could do here now is it says see your account. So I could go ahead and click account. And this is what the user interface looks like. It says my name here, Denny Lovejoy. And I could send to. So I could choose another name. And I could choose a memo. And I could also check the overview here. I could check the assets. I can create an asset. There's a membership here, a whitelist, voting here, vesting balances, and permissions. On the top here, it says explore. So you could explore the blockchain, explore assets, accounts, witnesses, committee members, fee schedule, data market, and statistics and the settings here they have general settings wallet settings account settings password settings a backup here a restore slash import and access settings if I click on this on the top right I could log out in this video I am not showing you how to send receive backup protect or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it. And there's one more step that I wanna show you, which is to verify that you could close and open the wallet. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna drag my screen recorder to the top left here. It says up here, gxb light. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then click quit. And to make sure that it's officially no longer connected to my device or computer. I'm gonna go to my finder under devices and click this eject button. And the way to reopen it is to go back to your finder, go to your applications and find the GXB Lite wallet here. And for me, it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click it, then click open. And here it is loading up once more. And here it is reopened. So great. You successfully downloaded and installed the GX Chain Wallet. And that concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you can also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Check the display address on the screen here or check the links below. And you can also follow me on Twitter my handle is Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a GX chain wallet. 
If you have any suggestions or comments for future videos, leave me a comment below or send me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day. I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.